200 years ago, the public first got their hands on Jane Austen's classic novel Pride and Prejudice, and centuries later, its popularity endures. At the Jane Austen House Museum in Hampshire in southern England, where the author lived between 1809 and 1817, a museum worker recreates the mood of the early 19th century by walking through the charming home wearing the dress actress Anne Hathaway wore on the movie Becoming Jane. Since you like, what should we call it? The history? Propriety commands me to ignorance. Condemns you to it. And you're writing to the status of female accomplishment. If you wish to practice the art of fiction, to be the equal of a masculine author, experience is vital. I don't think you'd say it was even her greatest novel, but it's certainly her most popular one. And it encompasses all that's great about the other novels in the, the groundbreaking work that, that Jane Austen was doing in, in transforming the novel of the 18th century into a novel very much like the ones we read today. The first editions of the English author's novel came out on January the 28th, 1813. And the tale of manners and marriage was an instant hit. It has never gone out of print. I think particularly today there are some cultures who very much relate to the circumstances of the young women about you know what their future is in the world and uh, what their marriage choices are and that kind of thing and so I think it, its resonances just just keep on really. The first Hollywood adaptation was in 1940 with Greer Garson and Laurence Olivier in the leading roles. Bollywood fell in love with the tale, and in 2004, Bride and Prejudice hit the movie screens, along with lots of colourful dancing that wasn't in the original. Anything too intelligent. You. Between her first choice... Do you think he could stay with us, Papa? I've heard so many things about you, Darcy. That's my trunk. This year, Austin Land will be released, a comedy about a young American woman who's obsessed with the BBC version of Pride and Prejudice and who travels to Britain to stay in a stately home, recreating the world of the novel in search of her perfect gentleman. You're really going to kick me out? I'm afraid it is time for you to leave.